by drawing a rectangle around the sunflower, and the, it'll go off and do a localized object search That's instead. Cool. Wow. So, so now, thank you. Now what we have is all sunflowers, you'll notice, and in, you'll also, if you look carefully, you'll see that the sunflowers are appearing in different contexts. The light is different, color is different, and also these little green boxes I should not point my finger, but actually the mouse, uh, around the, uh, the found objects. So uh, it works well for flowers, but that's not all. Um, let me show you something else. So uh, it also is uh, very effective at landmarks. And um, you guys have probably seen something similar to this if you've used Google Image Search. If you, if you uh, put the Golden Gate Bridge in, you'll get lots of pictures. And one thing to notice about this result is that they're all kind of uh, similar. They're, they're all basically the same viewpoint, same lighting, and so forth. And perhaps as a designer, I want to find other types of images of the Golden Gate Bridge. And we can use that same trick to, by drawing a rectangle, well, this time around the stanchion of the bridge. And now what I've got is lots of different views of the Golden Gate Bridge. In fact, this black and white view from very oblique uh, angle because of the other uh, aspects of the image. So um, I'm going to narrow that by just drawing a rectangle around the Coke can logo. And you can see that now it's again localized like I showed you before. And there's actually this really interesting image here which has both a Fanta and a Coke. And, and like before, if I draw a rectangle around the Coke, I'll find the Coke can, including this image we had in the past. But if I do the same thing with Fanta, just to show that it's, it's real, it's finding uh, the other object using the same image as the original query.